hello and welcome back. And now on the channel, I never really discuss every single update from the, all of the different NAS brands that I talk about. Some of these updates are just hot fixes. Some of them are tweaking applications on services and some updates, although good, some of them are actually bad. I'm looking at you, Synology Killing Video Station. Anyway, when, it, when I do discuss an update, it is because it is significant. And in this video, Although I've been talking about Ukraine for the better part of a year, I'm going to say right now, in this video, I'm going to discuss two major additions to UGOS software platform, along with a third sort of one. So technically three updates, but let's be honest, two and a half. So let's crack on with our first one. Finally, we have two-factor authentication natively built in that can be utilized via the mobile application or via the web browser. The latest update has integrated uh, multi-factor authentication, MFA, OTP, 2FA, whatever you want to call it, it's there. You go into the security settings and from there, you have to verify the account you're going to be utilizing it with. And although it recommends Microsoft Authenticator there, you're not locked in with just that one. You can use whatever your authenticator of choice is. For me, it's Google. And it was as straightforward to set up as anywhere else. This was something that was when UGS, for the first number of updates that they were going for, it really irked me that they didn't have multi-factor authentication, especially when a lot of users have certain security concerns about products from the East in their private home lab environments there. So. Finally, we've got it there. The next one is a little bit more niche, but certainly more universal, and that is SAN support, iSCSI. Finally, when I was talking about this during Kickstarter, I was talking about early UGOS, I was talking about how a lot of content creators were gonna take advantage of something like this. And although uh, virtual machine utilization went on there, snapshot utilization went on there, we still saw a complete lack of iSCSI because some software platforms, particularly in the editing world, don't play nice with mapped drives. And some users want to be able to edit directly on the NAS and using raw storage via things like iSCSI initiators or other mounting tools is far more preferable in terms of latency and overall performance, especially on 2.10G behemoths like this one. So iSCSI support finally being available is a boom. Not only can you assign it to individual groups and CHAPS chap security protocol there, but I got the device set up as you can see there on screen very easily. Hopefully that'll walk you through. It's a very straightforward uh, situation. I am uh, doing a reissue of the guide of the Ugreen series. Uh, I'm going to do one large video setup guide there because I tried to do parts before and YouTube took my second part down. Enough about that. Um, but again, iSCSI support now and to multi-factor authentication are two things that I would argue held off a lot of buyers early doors for the Ugreen uh, systems. And now these two boxes getting ticked, Mwah, chef kiss. Now I said the third one was gonna be a kind of half point there. That's because it's not actually just been made available. It's actually been available for a little over two months and that is native Jellyfin. If you go into the application center there, although Plex is not on there and the brand tell me they are working on getting Plex on there, having Jellyfin support as a one-click installer, mwah, beautiful. That means if you're going to set this up for multimedia, you're no longer going to have to dick around with setting up Docker, setting up your paths, getting your token, all of that stuff. It's all now natively using the MB application. For those that have been like, what took so long? Surely it's easy to get it on there. It's not as straightforward as that. Once you install an application in an app or a, a make a, an app available for installation in an app center there, you are committed to maintaining updates on it. You don't just necessarily have the latest version, but you have to verify that it's still secure and working on your own. So most NAS brands, not just Ugreen, when they do add an app to the app center, they can't add too many because then they have to stay on top of those updates across the rest of their platform. Again, it's a weak source excuse, I accept it, but at still the same time, we have Jellyfin on there now. Again, license-free, hardware transcoding, good to go. And hopefully Plex just around the corner. Now, as mentioned, I don't make videos about every single update, but there have been other things. As mentioned, virtual machine um, deployment now with a native VM application there, improvements to the multimedia home application, improvements to the AI recognition engines. There's actually multiple different AI plugins added to UGOS now. Indeed, now they're integrating the support of external graphics cards. Again, I'm doing some testing in the background with a, an Oculink and USB 4 eGPU on this 8 base system. Haven't had a chance to go finish the testing on that, but that is listed and presumably because of the IDX system around the corner. All of this adds up to, once again, 
this brand, who are still very green in the world of NAS, really doubling down on that software. We're still yet to see some things, so write once, read many support, support of ZFS. These are things that are still not on there, so it's still not a complete, you know, competitive platform against a number of the options in the market. But these three, two and a half, things are incredibly positive signs, and I wanted to let you know. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching. There's links to other videos and guides along with where to get a hold of one of these for yourself, linked in the description. If you found the video helpful, and if you want to buy from those stores I've listed anyway, please use those links. Doing so results in a small commission coming here to NAS Compares. It's just me and Eddie here, and it allows us to keep doing what we do. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.